Janie and today we're going to be talking about herbs and how to preserve our herbs for the winter time. Here we have a nice sized second year plant of sage. And you can tell what sage looks like by its silvery blue leaf. Here we have rosemary. You get a close up on what the leaf on this looks like. Here we have Greek oregano. And here I'll show you what a leaf looks like here. Nice lime green colored leaf. Here we have mint. And you can see this style of leaf here. It's got the little ridges on the side. And I think that's spearmint actually. And then here we have lemon balm. This is very lime green in color. Mm, very lemony. Very good. This is great for uh, poultry and fish. And then here we have a second year plant of thyme. It doesn't look like here on this. And then here we have basil. Mmm, smells wonderful. And this looks really, really similar to the lemon balm uh, as a mature plant, but this gets like a little purple flower on it. And this has a peppery smell to it when you break it open. Remember, when in doubt, just uh, grab a leaf, break it open, smell it, and you'll know. Okay, once we have harvested one of our herbs, uh, in this case, it's rosemary, what you want to do is put your water on a gently cold wash here and you want to wash your herbs and be sure and turn the plant upright so that the needles are facing upwards that way the water gets down in there on a nice gentle cycle there I'm gonna put my stopper in part way to make sure nothing washes down the drain and again um, rosemary almost has the look of a pine pine needles wash downwards and then bring it up right again. And we're going to continue to do this with all of the branches. The best time to pick an herb is in the morning or on a nice rainy day, a nice soft rainy day, or in the morning when the dew is still on the ground. And again, we're just going to wash with the stem down and then wash back up with the stem up. And you can see we're getting all kinds of little bugs and critters coming out of here. This washes the dirt and the little, the little bugs, like I said, off. And that's a good thing. We don't, we don't want to preserve the little bugs or little bug wings. Now, once all of our herbs have been washed, we're just going to kind of pat them dry. Just gently. Get some of the excess moisture off of them. And then we're going to take and we're going to bring them over to our drying station, which is just some more paper towels lined up. And we're just going to set these out individually like so. And we're going to cover the paper towel, keeping quite a bit of distance between each one. And we're going to dry these for about uh, two to three hours before we hang them. Now, if you need to, you can just label the paper towel with the herb that is laying on. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with our Greek oregano. We're going to wash it down right and then wash it upright. But as you wash the oregano, I want you to get rid of any of these leaves that look like they're bug bitten or they have any kind of infestations of spider mites or anything like that on them. We only want to use healthy leaves on the oregano. So once you have these washed, we're, again, we're just going to dry them. Pat them kind of dry, get the excess water off, and then we're going to take these over back to our drying station and we're just going to set these out like so. We're going to let these dry individually like this for about two or three hours. Now once we've uh, laid the Greek oregano out, we're just going to label the paper towel 
so that we know what we've got in front of us. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with our sage. We're going to wash it down and then against the stem, against the leaves. And then while we're doing this, we're going to get rid of any leaves that's got little bugs or little spider mites in it. We want to get rid of those. Yeah, we do not want to eat our happy little garden friends. Now what you will find with your sage, that which is unlike rosemary or your oregano or thyme, is you'll get this little blight black stuff. I don't know if you can see this here falling along the back side of the leaf here. So right there's a bug hole. And then right here's also this black stuff here on the back of that leaf there. Okay. Pretty much, if you see a little bit on there, the whole stem is no good. We want a good, healthy looking stem. Like right here, we got a nice, healthy looking stem. There's only one little spot there on the tip that I see. This one's worth saving. When you're done washing it, set it aside to dry. Okay, here I have kept my thyme. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash this in a bundle like so. And then I'm just going to take clumps of bundles about this size. And just wash them up like so. Maybe a little bit smaller clump there. There we go. That'll work. Put them aside in clumps. And then I'm going to kind of weed through these and take off as many of the bad limbs as I possibly can. Now I'm just going to kind of pick through each little clump and try to get rid of any stems and sticks that really don't have anything on them. Again, we're going to set these aside to dry. Now these will probably dry for about two to three hours as well. And you just leave them kind of in loose clumps. Next, you will need several of these simple lunch sack bags. And you'll want to label these with your herb. And you will need several of these twisty ties. I just saved some out of a bag of uh, trash bags. Once your herbs have dried for a couple of hours, they should be very dry, you'll want to gather up about five or six nice size bundles like this, and you'll want to tie these in a twisty tie. Okay. Now once you've got this tied up in your twisty tie, by the way, you can also use rubber bands. Rubber bands are good because they don't loosen up and your herbs will not fall out as they dry and shrink. But I'm using twisty ties because that's what I've got. And then we're going to take it over here to our bag that says sage. And we're just going to slip this inside. I'm going to put this down inside the bag. And then I'm going to gather the bag around the top. And then I'm going to add another twisty tie. This will keep the herb in a nice, dry, dark place. But cutting holes in the sack will also let the air flow through and allow this to dry without molding. Okay, and you can see here that I've taken my kitchen scissors and I have cut several holes, especially up here where the actual herb is hanging. All the air to penetrate but keeps the herb, um, you know, the air penetrate and flow around the herb, but it keeps it in a nice, dry, dark place. Helps keep the bugs off of it as well. Now you can hang this up like this, or you can just sit them like this to dry. These will dry in about a month, month and a half, and they'll be ready to crumble and make into um, crushed herbs for your cooking. Thank you.